Hi, I'm Aaron Brown with Onion Creek Productions. So Aaron's from Austin, but we will forgive him that. Um, we're talking about Texas production, though. So Aaron, um, how does production come to, to Texas in general? Uh, that's a great question. How does production come to Texas? Well, you know, I'm a... Talk about what you guys specialize in. Sure. Wow. Uh, we specialize in a range of things. We make commercials. We make TV shows. We make music videos. We make films. Right now, we're making a lot of films. Um, but I would say the way production comes to Texas is you got to go get it. Texas is not necessarily a sit back and let it come to you kind of state. Uh, I spent a lot of time in New York, almost 10 years. I find when I go back to LA and New York, those relationships, those, those people that I've worked with for years and years will eventually come to Texas because we have amazing crew and amazing locations and uh, we do we do a killer work but we also have fun and I think that's kind of one of the differentiating factors uh, if you get a really solid Texas team you're gonna have a lot of fun whereas that can't be said for every other place in the country it's different here I think we are less competitive in a lot of ways because you know, we have our team, right? And so they're always working. They're not fighting for those roles. And I will say that when I go to um, look for work, we're getting stuff from Canada, we're getting stuff from everywhere, but they come to Texas because we have things that they don't have in other places. So when I'm doing bids, I'm bidding against Uruguay, Spain, Canada, a lot of places, and we gotta bring it, right? So, so, the interesting thing I think about Texas is we've got these very distinct cities. They're all different. And it is hard to explain that to people who come to Houston and want to see a cow and a cactus, <laughs> right? It's not yeah, in Houston, too. right? It's not in Houston. It's a swamp. But we have NASA, right? So sometimes production comes here because of something we have sure. that they can't find somewhere else. I mean, look, the bottom line is that for a long time, I didn't rely on anyone's help I I ate what I made my team ate what we made we took it upon ourselves to go get work we didn't feel competitive with anyone in the uh, in the industry just because those are the people we would hire and rely on for so long to help get to grow that now they're our family so it's a very non-competitive market let me just be blunt I mean look if the incentives are better the shows come overnight, the movies come overnight, and the trickle down, not just, you know, the, the shows bring huge budgets and the, the movies have huge budgets, which is great, but the trickle down is incredible. I mean, people are, you know, AMC does Fear the Walking Dead and The Sun here in Texas, and I've gotten probably four or five trickle down commercials or pilots or spinoffs from that, and we partner with them on their shows as well. So anyone who's interested in uh, a true economy, anyone who says they're really interested in like jobs or economy, if they are against the film industry or TV industry, let me have a talk with them because it, it just doesn't make sense. The investment of an incentive program is so small for what you get back. What I always say is film is the only art form that supports all the other art forms, right? Okay. So every single city in Texas needs to consider that they might want to also add an incentive to bring people to their city in addition to the state. I'm telling you, all those producers are thinking the same way. But the amount of money that gets pumped into these economies, the local restaurants, hotels, catering, I mean, trucking, you, rental cars, I mean, you name it. it you, you really have no idea. Every year, I'm not exaggerating, like, millions of dollars flow through us into the Texas economy. And, and let me just say this, you know, when politicians get on their high horse and they say, you know, the elite liberal, you know, LA, New York media, we don't want to give our tax dollars to these guys. They don't know what they're talking about. I mean, look, I'm from Driftwood, Texas. I'll tell you straight up, incentives bring jobs for everyone money for everyone if you're pro jobs and pro revenue for your state if you vote against that kind of stuff 
What are you doing? I have a question for you that I have to ask to a producer. Dude, we have no purpose-built studios in our entire state. They're all retrofitted buildings, all of them. Imagine if we had gotten a bid to bid on the Netflix thing. You know, they went and just bought pre pretty much all the studios in uh, Albuquerque. Did they really? All 12. Yeah, all of them. And they're all serious big studios. That makes sense. They Why? bought them all. They bought the whole town. What state is Why that didn't in? Texas get to bid on what that? State is that in? Albuquerque, New Mexico. So New Mexico has great incentives. New Mexico, Louisiana, Georgia, Michigan, Canada. They also had one town that had 12 big studios. That's incredible. I mean, look, I, I, I'm not a guy who's going to build studios. I'm a guy who will use studios. You're right. Texas does not have anything comparable to LA or New York. It absolutely could, and there are plans, and I'm seeing some people in this room tonight doing it. The bottom line is, like, it, it shouldn't be a... It shouldn't be a political issue. It should be a jobs and a money and a people issue. It's money. It's a money issue, right? It's an economy, the creative economy. If you like money and you want more money in your state, you would, invoke, you would vote for more incentives. It helps everyone. Go ask any local town who's had a production in their, in their city if they felt it. Ask anyone. It tri it, it's, it's the real trickle down. Like, I know trickle down economics is bullshit in the political sense. But in the film industry, look at look at our budget. You want to see how many line items go to like local, everyday, blue collar, hardworking people and businesses? It's incredible, and I'm happy to do it. And those, you know, filmmakers are not the elite. I'm in there, you know, in Terlingua, Texas, with the locals, hiring them and renting their stuff and paying them for all kinds of stuff. So I'm tired of hearing, oh, it's a lead, it's whatever, bullshit. If you're making films in Texas, you're, support, you're supporting so many people. It's a collaborative art form, a commercial a film, TV show, all of it. So I'm glad you said that. So one of the things that differs between film and other art forms is film is a team sport. A lot of other art forms are, can be one person. Yeah, I think that's, what, that's what's really interesting. I mean, if you look at any of the bigger shows, those shows have a team of probably two to 300 people a day. And multiple companies. So many companies. You have no idea. I mean, you're talking two to 300 people that then branch out into so many other people behind the scenes. That's just who you see. So I'm trying to just make it clear. You know, look, I set it up there. I've never really gotten incentives. I think two projects, we got a few thousand bucks. It never really mattered to us. But when shows are here and when movies are here, I feel it a lot. And, and that's why I want the incentives. It's not so I can cash in my 10, 15%. That doesn't really do a lot for me. But when those shows and projects and movies are here, that matters. And so many people benefit from that financially. And I'm tired of seeing Atlanta and I'm tired of seeing Georgia and Albuquerque. I mean, we're in Texas. Are we not, are we not the... I mean, I'll say, are we not the best state in the country? Are we not the, do we not have the best locations, the best cities? The thing about film is it's uh, an economic industry, and it's also art. And I think that is something that everybody in Texas should benefit from. And thank you. Thank you so much. It was fun.